We'll discuss the numbers in just a moment, but I wanted to start by asking you about the fact you're ramping up production for a coronavirus antibody test. Can you give us some more guidance on when that will be ready and ready to be rolled out, but also what impact it will have on the current quarter's earnings? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, so this test is, um, we expect a regulatory clearance for this test in within this uh, month, and we will ramp up production capacity to up to 25 million um, tests in the month of June. Um, of course, uh, this is an upside uh, for, for, our, for our business, um, but it very much depends on, um, you know, the medical need and how societies will eventually um, use tests like this. Good morning, Bernd. It's Manus in Dubai. Because Roche also have uh, their uh, similar test. They hope to make 100 million of these by the end of June. What's the pricing and the margins going to be like on this kind of product? Well, I mean, I think this is not the time uh, in for, uh, um, you know, up now, um, Big margin and, and 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 pricing discussions, and also for you know competition in the normal sense. It is really about helping, um, and um, so pricing will be on the regular pr um, level of a of a of a uh, special immunoassay test. Yeah, it will very much depend on, of course, also the cu um, the customers um, who pr who ultimately perform um, the test. It is an upside for us, but first and foremost. We want to help in this very critical situation. Yeah. Um, you talk about um, upside um, burnt, but I mean, we were already discussing last week um, how for Gilead, um, I know it's a very, very different company, but there was a question um, between sort of making profit, but also helping the world um, through the pandemic. Um, is it definitely an upside that you're going to see from um, these kind of products, or could the cost? potentially um, offset um, any sort of revenue that you might make from them? Okay. I mean, maybe, first of all, let me quantify upside. I mean, maybe you, uh, you know that also we had to withdraw our guidance for the year um, um, together with the earnings of the Q2, yeah, which means when I say upside, it means upside compared to the negative impact we have from the pandemic. Yeah? Um, so um, this is an area where we have a net new opportunity, yeah, while um, on, in, in other parts of the business we are, quote-unquote, a victim of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, we, of course, will, uh, we want to recover the cost we have for developing the test, yeah, but this is, in my opinion, the wrong season yeah, to optimize margins yeah, and to have a, uh, a contest, yeah, a public contest, who has now the fastest or the best or whatever test this is about, who can help in the fastest way to to make the world... And I, th I, th I think, Bernd, both easy. Nera and I really do appreciate it. I think we do appreciate the, the, the tone uh, and the message that you want to deliver this morning, which is about delivering help and a product which helps us all. Uh, naturally, we're interested in what that means for the business, and I think that that's what the shareholders uh, are obviously keen, keen to know. Can I ask you about the rebalancing of the business? Because as much as you're involved in this development, you've also got hospitals cancelling non-elective surgeries, um, yeah. trying to focus on the pandemic. So can you give us a sense? I mean, you've pulled the guidance. Is this part of the reason why you've had to pull the guidance? Because the whole non-elective side of the business is in flux. And uh, give us a sense of what's been pulled back there in terms of the imaging and the therapies business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our businesses are impacted in a little bit of a, of a um, different um, ways. Yeah, I mean, as you rightfully say, there is a uh, big uh, or a significant reduction in elective procedures um, that um, impacts us directly in the diagnostics business, yeah, where we get paid per patient um, episode, um, so to say, per test. Yeah, so here we see um, the business. Um, going going down significantly um, for the time being. Yeah, it will recover uh, once elective procedures come back, and we have the upside we spoke about. Yeah, with um, COVID-related tested testing. 
but in the end, it is more a negative, definitely more a negative than a positive. Yeah? Then on the imaging and, um, and advanced therapy business, um, this is bigger um, investment goods, if you wish. Yeah? And here we see um, that um, hospitals, now, you know, some hospitals delay the installation of this equipment simply because they are busy um, taking care of the pandemic. Yeah? This is a temporary effect yep. uh, where we also see it will be, uh, there will be pent up demand yeah? because we have a very solid order book here, yeah? but we saw a quote unquote push out um, of, of, okay. of deliveries and on the order side we saw also a delay of decision making. Yeah? So this is a little bit, and on this, our service business is more or less stable, which is an important um, right. um, stabilizing factor always. Makes sense, Bernd. Um, look, we learn new things every day, every week um, about this virus. At the moment, there's discussions um, about the fact that coronavirus causes blood clots that can cause harm to other organs uh, even after patients have recovered from the coronavirus itself. And some uh, sort of talking about the fact that these clots are maybe also what's causing the complications uh, in lungs and the heart as well. The point I'm making mm -hmm. is that there'll always be opportunities um, for yourselves and other people in the industry uh, to develop uh, new products. So I'm wondering if you're getting into any other aspects of coronavirus-related medical yeah. production. Perhaps it's masks, no, perhaps it's, it's ventilators, that, perhaps it's something else. What are you looking at? Yeah, I mean, glad that you asked that question. I mean, maybe, uh, I mean, I want to uh, remind you, I mean, we are in a uh, truly unique position as a company because we are active in, um, both in vivo and in vitro, yeah? so both in imaging and in, in diagnostic tests and have a lot of digital capabilities. Yeah? So when it comes to fighting a disease in its entirety, yeah, it is a, it's, a, it's about us understanding the molecular piece. Yeah? Is the virus there? It's the immune reaction. That's what we talked about. We have imaging technologies here yeah, to also see what is happening in the lung. Um, and when it comes to the blood clots you talk about, yeah, we have a very strong position in hemostasis, yeah, which is blood analysis. Um, but we also have a strong position when it comes to cardiovascular treatment. Yeah? So there is now a uh, word about you know, that there's more strokes in, 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 in younger patients and so on. And this is something that we are um, very active in, in, in with our research partners okay. to understand Fine. this with all the portfolio we have. Yeah?